to do Marlena's house one night. Um, Marlena's got the coolest place in the world and it was one of the reasons she got into ghost hunting in the first place. She thought that uh, she had ghosts. And we've been sitting here with our, our small cameras and uh, sitting around casually tonight um, hoping that maybe we can find something. Randy's out in the front so this is actually the Marlena Jan sitting around her table show. And I'm just going to ask Marlena why she wanted to come here tonight. So, Mar. Yes, Jan. How come we're here tonight? What better place to ghost hunt? It's warmer than the cemetery. Yeah, for sure. Well, the house has always got something going on here. I mean, I hear all kinds of stuff when nobody else is around, so I figured why not bring you here, just the two of us, and see if we can pick up some activity. Equipment, together. which is great. That, that makes a huge difference. We can so you know what I was thinking? I was thinking, why don't you and I walk around the house a little bit? I think that's a great idea. Just the two of us, nice and quiet. We can do the upstairs and the downstairs if you want. We've got at least 19 minutes without the batteries being charged. So we can walk through the house with that. And then we just go on, uh, on um, uh, plug. And we can do a little bit of a vigil. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Watch out for the wires. This place is spooky. Okay, now do we have um, we we have some light on those rooms down there? Oh yeah. Uh, let's set back up. Well, as you can see, I'm going down through Marlena's hallway here, and Marlena did all this work herself, and it's quite incredible. Um, it's it's hard to really show you how beautiful it is. Check out this wood, for example. Isn't that great? Marlene has got the coolest uh, house in all of Canada, I'm sure of it. But she's done all this work herself, and it's really spooky and hard to get along in the dark. Just using the night shirt. I want to be really careful I don't pull all those uh, cable lines down. And uh, just show you some of the stuff that she's got in here. Look at all these really neat things behind the glass. This is some house. It really truly is. And... We believe it might be haunted in this house. This is some spooky stuff has happened at Marlena's house. And, and you know, I can't show you all the really cool stuff because there's just not enough cassettes. But look at this wood. This wood. Isn't it gorgeous? She did all this work herself. Isn't that neat? The glass is really cool. I don't know where Marlena went, but she was down there somewhere. So. Oh, there you are. There you I was are. just waiting for you to come up this end. Well, you know, in the dark here, it's it's really, really, really hard to to kind of um, get around without your eyeballs. Whoop! Oh, don't don't lose me. Watch the cords there. Trying to find you here. Yeah, I'm just in my bedroom here. Oh, this is your bedroom? Yeah, I thought something pushed me in here. That's why I was taking so long to come out. Lots of there's a bit of dust flying around in there, but we'll look and see if anything else is moving around in the. Um, in the stillness here. You know, it's really, really hard to do a ghost hunt in Marlena's house for the simple reason that you go to night shot like we have to do here and you miss all the terrific colors of her house and all the cool glass and all the cool stuff that people, you know, used to live with. Used to live with and, and really could see if, if, uh, we have some lights on. I'll be sure to put some photographs in this episode to show you how cool Marlena's house really is. And now we've got some 
fast moving what the heck that is in front of me here it's a chair okay yeah there's stuff all over can't there. see where i'm going you have to feel your way through john yeah okay we're getting um some very fast moving orby stuff but i think it's just dust for now because it's it's got no pattern to it marlene and as you mm -hmm. know we're looking for something that's moving in a straight line and fairly yeah. solidy kind of um are you wanting to sit down well i don't know where the hell anything is well, here let me pull this off you can sit on the trunk there's an old trunk here that'll hold your weight there you are oh i'm not so sure i could end up going in that no, it's, it's built like a roman arch you can't won't cave in it's got a curved top on it is there anybody here in marlene's bedroom It's just Jan and Marlene, and we would never hurt you. Is there anybody here? Why don't you uh, tell the folks, Marlene, at home some of the stuff that's happened to you in here? Well, you know, it all started um, a couple of years ago when uh, I used to go to bed at night, and uh, oh, about an hour after I was thought I was sleeping, I felt something grabbing my feet. And I mean, it was like somebody's hand. It actually held my ankles and feet quite tightly. So I kind of freaked and I uh, just yelled out, stop, stop. And um, it did stop. And that went on for, uh, off and on for about, oh, I guess a month or so. And finally it just stopped altogether. And then um, I never thought much more about it after that. I just figured the house was a bit haunted. It, wasn't uh, something that harmed me or anything, just kind of freaked me, but uh, there's always creaks and noises of sounds like people are walking at night and particularly in the stairs that lead down to the front door, I swear I can hear somebody come up those stairs sometimes, so I just kind of had my hide my head under the pillow and just try to go to sleep because I live here and uh, I'm not moving and if I'm sharing the house with somebody or some buddies um, we're just going to have to get used to each other. Do you get scared? Um, there's been times I'm a little bit spooked, but generally I'm sort of used to it because I come up from the downstairs, usually after doing my eBay stuff and everything, uh, about 11.30 or 12, and it's quite black up here. And I wander through the hallway and um, don't think much about it, really. Just flick on some lights. I always figure there's going to be a hand holding the switch when I reach for the switch in my hand there to grab mine, but there never is. But that's kind of spooky kind of stuff, but... You have no reason to feel scared in this place though, do you? Oh, no, not at all, no. But you know, your mind can play tricks on you when it's quite dark. The long, dark hallway there coming up there, it's kind of... I, th I, know, I know that people who have visited the house when it's dark, they're always spooked, but of course they're not used to it, so it is. it does seem spooky to them. But not to me really, but... Just once in a while I get a little thought in my head, but generally I'm fine with it. Now, this is stained glass behind you, isn't it? Yeah, I picked that up in North Carolina. It came up an old um, estate, uh, and uh, probably, the house was probably built around 1870, and uh, it ended up in a restaurant in North Carolina. Just getting the design. So, um... Now, where do you get some of this stuff from, Marty? This is just incredible stuff. I've been collecting antiques for 35 years, actually, giving away my age now. But, uh, no, I've had, uh, I grew up with antiques, and uh, I've always had a love for them, and um, um, I'm not, uh, I'm not into contemporary stuff at all. I love um, antiques, all kinds of antiques, wood, glass. No, they don't, because I, um, um, but they do, they do make your energy peak a bit. I mean, you're, you're, you're sort of peaked a bit when, at certain times. I think that's just a freaking general adrenaline. <laughs> <laughs>